So Dan, a lot of people might not know what Students for Sensible Drug Policy is. Would you mind like, telling us a bit about it? Yeah, well basically Students for Sensible Drug Policy is a worldwide organisation, uh, mainly with chapters in universities all over the world. And at Students for Sensible Drug Policy, we neither condemn nor condone drug use. So w we're all about having a sensible discussion, open and honest discussion on current drug laws and what their effects on society are, and then talking about um, uh, new ideas that, that have been put forward by a lot of people and how they could benefit society. Okay, and tell us a bit about yourself, like what course you do and how did you end up getting involved? Yeah, well, um, I'm, I'm finishing up my PhD in physics at the minute. I'm doing a PhD in biomedical physics. And um, basically, I seen students for sensible drug policy. I came across on Facebook somewhere. There's a branch in Galway in NUIG. Uh, there's uh, two branches in Cork, and there's a branch in Athlone. And I, I, I stumbled across a post somewhere, and I just noticed that there was no branch in Dublin, and no university in Dublin. So I sent a message to one of the guys, just saying like, "What's the story? Is there anyone planning on putting together a, 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 a branch in, in a Dublin university? I'm from DCU." And they said there's another guy called Aaron Harper who contacted them from DCU, who was also interested. So they put the two of us in contact, and between the two of us and a third guy, Martin Burns, uh, we, we we set up the society. So is DCU is the first uh, Dublin based Yes, yes indeed. Okay. And um, what made you decide to run for chair, like the, the main position? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I, it, it was it was probably going to be myself or Aaron that were going to go for it, and we discussed it amongst ourselves. And um, what we came up with was the fact that I've been around for a while. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a postgrad now. I've been here for a good few years, and just I suppose maybe I like talking. <laughs> and uh, I was going to say talking to something else, but uh, I, I don't know if I'm afraid from a bad language. But uh, yeah, I just like talking and chatting to people, and I feel like I'm, I'm at ease dealing with people like that. And I just really want, I felt quite passionate about it, and just wanted to be involved. And um, with Aaron on board as well, it's great. Like the two of us, there's no arguing about it, there's no hierarchy king thing. It's just you're the person that comes and talks to the cameras and stuff like that. And what kind of students got involved? Were they people who are mainly in societies, or were they people from particular courses, or was it just a mixture of everyone? Yeah, we, we, we had a, r a wide range of people getting involved actually, yeah, we were, um, when we were signing people up, because um, we're, we're, we're a very new society, we actually, we, we weren't here for clubs and socks day or anything like that, so we, we, we just had a day ourselves in the hub signing people up, and I think one of the most interesting things we noticed were people were just a bit kind of taken aback, kind of they weren't expecting to see something like this, I, I think from my personal experience, I don't think DCU seems to be overly political or social, like compared to some other universities, it, it seems like people were just a bit taken aback, they didn't know what we were about, but once we explained our situation, what we were actually trying to do, um, people, I, like I, I, no one telling us that uh, no one I spoke to seemed to seem to disagree with us. They all were like, "Oh, that's yeah, that makes perfect sense." So um. earlier this month, uh, NUIG voted yes. So if there was ever a referendum about cannabis legalisation, that their university would have that support. Yeah. Would this be something you'd be hoping to achieve in DCU? I think it's something that we're we're going to pursue because. Um, um, it, at Students for Sensible Drug Policy, like when you look at the actual facts and the statistics, uh, um, uh, as, as a system of legalisation and regulation definitely makes far more sense than the current system where you're leaving drugs in the hands of criminal gangs, basically. And people are never going to stop taking drugs. Uh, if you preach abstinence, it doesn't stop people having, uh, having uh, teenage pregnancies. Just like abstinence doesn't stop people from taking drugs. So you have to take a logical approach. And in, 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 in uh, in my opinion, and I would say in most of the people in SSDP, they think that legalisation of cannabis is a, is a, is the, the right way to go. But you said you wouldn't condemn or condone any drugs. So any, any drug use. Any drug use. Yes. So okay. Exactly. We're saying that it makes sense to have it legalised. Yeah. People can use drugs if they want. They cannot use drugs if they want. But the current system where it's illegal is very harmful to society. We're yeah. not telling people to use drugs or don't use drugs. We're just saying that the the, the, the laws. In place. And there'd probably be more health benefits if it was regulated as well. It'd have to be uh, come under certain standards. Of course, if, if if you go into a pub and you decide, oh, I'm going to have a spirit, I'm going to have a beer, I'm going to have this, that, and the other, you know what you're drinking. But when someone buys weed off someone, managing the street, they don't know the strength of it, they don't know what's in it, they don't know where it's come from. It's completely unregulated, and it makes no sense. So can we expect any events from SSDP? Yeah, uh, the, our main event coming up now is actually on next Thursday. So it's uh, the National Conference for Students for Sensible Drug Policy. And uh, we're uh, very proud here in DCU that we've, we're going to be hosting it. So we'll have the people from, from the chapters all around Ireland, from Galway, from Athlone, from, from Cork, uh, coming up to visit, as well as concerned citizens from all around Ireland. And um, uh, anyone is welcome to come along. It's going to be in the Helix, uh, upstairs in the Helix in the gallery. And it starts at 4.30 uh, on Thursday the 2nd of April and it runs until 8pm. So there's going to be a meet and greet to start with some different groups that are concerned about uh, uh, issues that, that we are. And then we're going to have some speakers.
Okay, brilliant. And um, what would you have hoped to achieve by this time next year? I think by this time next year, if you'd ask me personally, I would like to think that we will have had a referendum on whether or not DCU Students' Union would support legalisation of cannabis the same as um, the, the same as Galway. But more so than that, I would like to think that it's something that, that students in DCU will be talking about day to day. I, I think one of the one of the things we, we liked when we were handing out our flyers and, and just asking people if they wanted to sign up, even people that didn't want to sign up, we knew that they were kind of having a little chat. We'd see them, they'd walk off into the bar and see them be talking to their friends. So then they were sitting and they were going to talk about it. And someone might say, yeah, you can't have drugs legal. So then it'll be madness. And then their friend would be like, what do you mean madness? Should people can get... And just starting a debate. So then what's going to happen is people will become interested in it. And I think because, like I said, I, this time next year I won't be in DCU anymore. The torch will be passed on to new people. Uh, we have a good few young people in, in, in our committee that should be there for a few years, but you always need new people getting on board and people that are passionate. So that's what we want to have. And have you the support of the SU and the DCU president or what kind of support have you got? Uh, yeah, well, we, we got the support of the SU and that we uh, we applied to for, f to be a society and they, they seem behind us. They Like when we explained the situation, wh whenever you put the word drugs, people think like, oh, you're a society all about taking drugs and you want to do all this. Like that's absolutely not what we're about. We're just about getting the facts across, people educating themselves and knowing wh what's harmful, what's not harmful and being able to, to make to make decisions for, for themselves. So uh, when, we, when we put that to the, to the society, um, uh, uh, to, to the SU, they, they seem uh, fully behind us. Uh, I haven't been talking to Brian about it, I must knock on his door and see if, uh, if he gives us the odd clear, but I'm sure he would, he's a smart guy. And just on a personal level, why do you think cannabis hasn't been legalised here in Ireland yet? <sighs> on a personal level, I think um, it's very complicated. If you, if, you, if you trace back why certain drugs are legal and illegal, it's a, it's a, it's a complicated system. It, Making drugs illegal is, is, is quite a new phenomenon. If you go back a hundred years, there was no illegality of all these drugs. It didn't really exist. It was like people were using drugs, but it was small populations of people, like say, um, uh, Central America, South America, do, do, do was a lot of cannabis use, stuff like that. It, it wasn't so, so widespread, like say, um, heroin use, opiates and stuff like that came from China, came from areas like that. But once, once it kind of went, went across the globe, it seems that certain governments kind of decide that, oh, this is bad for such and such a reason, we need to get rid of this. It's bringing in a, a bad element to our society. Now, a certain amount of that might have been based on racism, a certain amount of it was, was based on, on fears for health. But basically, an awful lot of the decisions that were made weren't based on any sort of scientific or, or, or moral grounds. They were just a whim of, uh, of someone who was in power. So I, what we want to do is we want people to look logically at the facts and then make a new decision. And if people want to become involved with the SSDP branch in DCU, where should they go or how should they do that? Yeah, the easiest way is probably to find us on Facebook, uh, DCU Students for Sensible Drug Policy. Um, you, can also, um, you can also drop us an email on ssdpdcu at gmail.com. Um, you can come down to the conference, like I said, it's open to everyone. It's in the gallery, top floor of Florida Helix, and chat to us. Uh, if you see me knocking around campus, just uh, stop me and ask me a few questions. But uh, basically, yeah, anyone, to, uh, w w we want everyone to get involved. And people kind of, any uh, point of view, they, like you, you, you don't have to go with like the common view of thinking like, oh yeah, we should be legal and this should be that. We should. You can have any, any, any view at all. What we want is we want people who, who have an argument and they have a reason for their argument. And that's what we just want to have, we want to have discussions. Okay, yeah. thank you very much, Dan, for joining us. No, 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 no. Thank you for having me.